over here because I'm nearly done I can look at the maybe Aussie Eurocad or actually Aussie CAD Yeah, we can look at the Aussie CAD and maybe we can look at the Euro Pound. So let's look at the Euro Pound first because we have a sell signal on the pound and we're kind of neutral on the Euro Pound. And look at this here. See that? That's a buy signal right there. See that, Paul Khalid? That that is a behavior bola that it breaks below and it comes back above it so now it's telling us i'm not going down i'm going up so that is just by looking at the pairing you can identify the opportunity so that is a a buying signal we want to be long the euro pound and for us to sell it, there is no reason for sell it unless it trades below 79.86. So let's see what they are. Actually, a little bit below that because the trend is really to the downside. So 79.75. So on the short side, we're going to go short below 79.75. And we have a structure point at 79.62. And we're going to pick the stop in a minute. On the buying side, so I'm going to go short below 78. I have to put my stop right there on the short. So the stop will be here. And if I'm buying it, we're going to buy it above 80.16. And we can use the 80 as a stop on either way. So we're going to buy it above the two daily low, which is 80.16. And the next structure point is 80.66. And my stop is going to be the 80. I say a one. And this would be the 80 even. So for the Euro Pound, we are going to buy the Euro Pound above 81.16. We have a structure long point at 80.66. And our stop is going to be 80.01. This is too tight. This is too tight. The stop is too tight. Okay, we'll leave it 16 pips on the stop. It's no big deal. And on the short side, we're going to go short below 79.75. We do have a structure point at 79.62, which is about 10 pips below it. And our stop in this case will also be the 80 level for both. Okay, that is the euro dollar.